All right, what's going on dudes and welcome back to Hexit where we're going to continue our efforts to navigate the underground maze in the hopes of finding the minnow shroom, mino shroom, mino shroom. I really don't know how you pronounce it, but that doesn't have too much bearing on our battle with him unless of course there is some sort of voice activation that we got to summon him by calling him by his proper name and I'll get there and I'll be like I summon the minnow shroom and he'll be like nah, that's not how you pronounce it and I'll be like mino shroom and he'll be like nah. Sorry, strike two. And I'll be like, me no shroom. And he'll be like, strike three. Sorry, that's all you get. I'm gone. You're not battling me today. Not without calling me by my proper name. And I'll be like, dang. That's a bummer. Anyway, all right. Uh, I don't know which way we should go here. Uh, we got a fork. We can go this way or we can go down the other path. This one has light in it. So it seems more welcoming. Of course, we are also trying to find the maze map focus. We can't forget about that. That's a pretty important point. We do want to find the uncrafting table so we can experiment with that. I guess I'm going this way, though. It had some light. It was more inviting. There are some, uh, these little, like, mushroom things spawning. So I feel like we must be getting close to him because he is a combination uh, between a mushroom and a minotaur. So, you know. All right, I guess we'll keep on going this way. Uh, I don't know if there's another level down. I hear things taking place. Ah, it's just it's just good old slime fapping sounds, you know, just the usual stuff. Um, yeah, I don't know if there's another well we have to find to make it down one more level, or if this is where the minnow shroom is on uh, the second level down, but we'll find out soon enough. Um, you know what? I should actually put on my full set of scale armor, unless we have to descend another layer. Oh, hi there. What's up? We got a big one over here. Um, I am so sorry, but you guys are all pretty hostile, and even the little ones are able to do damage, and it's kind of a bummer. Wow, we have another big one. All right, hold on. I'm so sorry, everyone, but uh, you're not you're not Jerry. You ain't got nothing on him, so I guess I, I can't be nice enough to spare you when you're trying to kill me and attack me. All right, buddy. Oh, two of you. How's it going? Oh, God. I wonder if they deal a lot of damage if they actually are able to charge you. Let's see. Boom. You did nothing. <laughs> he literally did no damage, but he probably hurt our armor, which we don't want. So, anyway, now let's continue on down through here. I mean, I swear, how big is this maze? It was just we we just got so lucky on the first floor that we spawned. Woo, that's scary. Um, we got so lucky that we just spawned. Uh, oh yeah, I'm wearing the full set of skill armor. I can just walk on right through that. Let's see if there's anything to find. Nope, just some bedrock. Um, anyway, as I was saying, spawning right, or, or digging down right above the well could have taken a lot longer, I'm sure. But, uh, oh, dead end! Good, dead ends! Did we actually just come all the way this way for a set of dead ends, and we're gonna have to go all the way back around to the, uh, the other fork? Um, and, no? Anything here? I'm totally gonna lose myself. Uh, no? This way? I've never liked mazes. I really never been a fan of them. And now you get to get to witness firsthand why that is. It's been a very, very long time since I've ever actually attempted to navigate a maze in a video. Generally, I've done my best to avoid them. But I guess I can't be surprised coming into this, given that the structure is in fact called... Ooh, you dropped one of the charm of keepings. That's cool. But apparently the phoenix feather accomplishes the same thing, which I didn't realize. Uh, as far as keep inventory goes, without actually using the keep inventory game rule command. Uh, where are we going? Okay, we've been that way. At least we can use torches to sort of highlight where we've already been. But, oh, even so, I didn't think this maze was... Oh, what's up, buddy? Hey, <laughs> that right there is... Uh, ah, whoa, he can reach me through the fence. That's right, that's the minnow shroom. Um, nice. So he has a, a diamond axe thing, I guess, in hand. He's got some loot chests. Now we just... Is there a, an actual way to navigate in to get him, or do we just mine on through the fence? It looks like he's surrounded by fence on all sides, so... Should we explore the rest of this first? Or am I just gonna get myself lost, and, uh... It's not gonna be fun. I'm just gonna fight him before I get myself lost, and then we can, uh... Then we can explore the rest of the stuff. Alright, man! Sup? How's it going? I might make pretty quick work of you, because uh, you only have 120 health. What I could do, if I wanted to be real mean, is just go like that a few times. 
<laughs> and you'd be done. But I won't do that for the sake of being uh, being nice to you. How? How are you doing? How are you doing? Oh, you're three blocks tall, so you are a pretty majestic creature. I feel kind of bad, like coming in to your your place of residence and owning your face up. Hey, it's kind of a rude thing to do, but you're leaving me no choice because you seem to, to hold a grudge against me. So, let's see. Uh, I was informed that apparently after you beat the minnow shroom, there are some things that blow up, and I have to be careful of that. Ooh, lots of charms. Ooh, wait, 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 wait. Maze map focus. Boom. Donezoed. All right, let's grab. So we'll grab all the stuff that's of importance before we take him out, just in case the explosions make bad things happen. Um, there is TNT. All right, all right, enough of this. Stop, stop, stop. You're not even hurting me at all because, <laughs> yeah, my armor is kind of, kind of a lot stronger than you. I hate to, hate to let you know that, but, uh, it's just the fact of the matter. So anyway, how's our armor doing? It's doing pretty darn fine, and I'm gonna light you on fire. Lots of, lots of big fires happening in here. I'm so sorry. So sorry I had to do it. I can just let it take you down. Shh. <laughs> This is just the way it's gonna be. And you're done, Toad. Alright, cool. Um, what did I get? Did I get anything for that? Hmm, anything special? Ooh! Minotaur Axe! That looks nice. That looks fancy. That's not a diamond axe, it's a Minotaur Axe. Doesn't have much durability, but that could be nifty. Let's see if extra charge damage... What does that mean? What does that mean? Let's find out. Uh, I'm sorry you're gonna be our guinea pigs here, Slimes. How much damage does the Minotaur Axe do? Let's find out. Uh, ten! Whoa! Holy crap, that base damage! That base damage! That's actually the highest base damage ever, but I don't know if we can enchant it. Ooh, we gotta see if we can enchant this! If we can enchant this thing, that's legit! Did I- why did- we- I doubt- we must not be able to enchant it then, or else- we definitely have seen this on the wiki as the highest base damage, but seriously, that's legit. All right, we're gonna go repair it. We're gonna, oh, I hope I can repair it with the enchantment table. Well, now we get to find this out. All right, so I have to figure out how to get back out of here now. That's the problem. Um, can it also act as, it also acts as an ax. It acts as an ax. <laughs> this is great. Okay, I'm not gonna use it anymore because I don't wanna wear it down. This is legit. Is this actually, did we save like one of the, best boss battle drops for last? Who knows? We're about to find out. All right, now you get to figure out how to get back. Gonna be a, a fun little quest right there. Um, since we got our maze map focus, we beat the Minoshroom, Shroom, uh, Mino Shroom, Mino Shroom, and we didn't have to do some sort of voice activation challenge. I guess uh, we'll head back. I don't think there's all that much more that this maze has to offer except getting us lost. So, that said, thank you. Thank you for everything, super duper underground maze. Uh, but I think our time here is done. It's coming to a close as soon as I can figure out how to get out of here. I think I'm going in the right direction. Yes, I am indeed. Hello, hello. I'm so sorry, I'm bidding you farewell. You don't have to worry about me anymore. No, 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 it's cool, it's cool, we're cool. All is cool. All right, nice. And good to go. By the way, my, my rapier did like auto repair itself once again, which is cool. Uh, well, I came from this direction, most definitely. So we're going back here, and going back over here. I just really want to, oh wait, oh, oh crap, is the, um, I just realized it might be because of my strength buff that the Minotaur Axe is doing a lot of damage. Let's test this without my strength buff and see if it changes. Let's see, because I was getting so hyped. I was getting so hyped on that, and then, all right, so without strength buff, it is seven. Dang it. I was so stoked for a second, and then I realized the truth. The truth is not as, not as happy. Darn it. Darn it, darn it. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. It's a, <laughs> it's an infernal rare quicksand twilight forest dot maze slime OMFG fireballs that can't do damage to me. Because he's small. I'm gonna leave you. No, ow, 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 ow. Stop it, you guys. Oh, go oh maybe he can. Maybe he can. <laughs> Except he lit everyone on fire. Not the best. He, he killed himself. He killed himself. Poor guy. Poor guy. He just wanted to be a big, a big grown-up slime like the rest of them. And then 
he used his ability and it just all went all went bad <laughs> um god dang it oh wait oh oh, oh, oh. this is where we were haha -ha. i almost forgot to look up that would have been real nice on my part let's see uh let me put on my cloud boots just to make sure here but oh god we got a kamikaze slime <laughs> and whoop hold on there we go where did i come through i came in where did i come in right here or something what was that where i came through it doesn't really matter you need to dig up to the surface anyway regardless all right let's dig on up and uh yeah it'll be good stuff then we'll head on back and all right one sec hello mr mr wild deer reindeer whatever you are all right so what i'm going to do now is i'll make my way on back to the the portal and uh, then we'll go check out the uncrafting table. I'll still see if I can uh, repair the, the Minotaur X and figure out what its special ability does. And uh, all right, I will see you in just a few minutes. Okay, so I may have lied a little bit. It wasn't actually a few minutes since you saw me last. It was more like a second because of the magic of editing and all that good stuff. Anyway, let's head back on through, back to the overworld. And uh, that's not what I intended to do. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, and we're not going to do that once again. All right, so we have the maze map, maze map focus. Going to surround that in workbenches, I guess. Get the uncrafting table. Experiment with that. See if we can repair the thingamadoohicker. I'm going to not use my electric staff, actually. Hello, skeleton. And goodbye, skeleton. So, okay. Uh, uncrafting table. Uncrafting table. The recipe on you is maze map focus surrounded by what? Like, what does a maze map focus have to do with an uncrafting table, though? For realsies, trying to trying to get the logic behind that, not really seeing it. Um, that kind of scared me for a second. I forgot I set up my armor there, so I walked around the corner. I'm like, oh my god, what kind of mob is that? Oh wait, it's just my armor I set up on the stand. Yep, nice. I have a good memory sometimes, except not really. Where did I put my charm of keepings? Um, somewhere. Throw these in here. I have a lot of inventory stuff to clear out. I have the backpacks. Oh boy, it's gonna be a long process. I'll probably do it in between this episode and the next one, cause that's not gonna be real fun. Anyway, I'm not gonna bother myself with doing it at this very moment while the episode's going. So what I will do is make some workbenches and uh, what? Wait, that's I just that's weird. Apparently, I can rearrange my inventory by what the heck? Whoa! Whoa, 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 that's weird. If I press the, if I press number buttons with the, like, this inventory sorting thing, I just discovered that I can, like, rearrange stuff. That's interesting. Well, anyway, uh, what did I have there? I had my electric staff, and I just put that over there. Weird. Okay. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. So let us make eight workbenches. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, cool. Put our wood back. Put our dirt in there. Whatever else I can see that we should throw in at the moment. Uh, iron bars. Blah blah blah. Marble cobblestone. Ooh, fancy. So fancy. Okay. And finally, boom and boom, and we have ourselves an uncrafting table. So now. What are we going to do with it, one might ask. And the answer to that is, I don't know. I don't even know what it does. So where should I put it down? I guess we can sort of mirror it with the uh, location of the workbench. Or we can put it next to the workbench. Or we could put it on top of the workbench. I don't know. Why don't we do that? <laughs> uncrafting and crafting. Uncrafting table. Okay, so I assume we put the item we want to dismantle right there. And then it spits out, but I don't know what that does. Why is there another thing over there? Let's see. How do you work? Let's grab something not useful out of here. Like, uh, I don't know. We're not going to use the diamond glaives. Let's throw that in there. And uncraft it. Um, five? Wait. Oh, does it require levels? Is that how it works? Huh. I mean, I guess it makes sense that it should not just give you the items for free, assuming that you, like, just pick this out of nowhere, but I don't know if I want to use my levels. Um, but what's the output on the other side? Um, can you, like, repair with it, maybe? 
Let's see. Uh, like, what if I do that? And it doesn't have crafting recipe, so that's not gonna work. Um, let's use something that's super worn down. Like these diamond leggings. See what that does. Um, huh. Wait, so... These are all red. Does that mean that if I put them in again, that I can then output it on the... Uh, um, is this like a substitute for an anvil? Seems like it. Uh, I, th I think that's that might be what it's doing. It's like an alternative anvil kind of functionality. So let, I don't know. Let's throw in something with like that that has a, an enchantment and see if it maintains the enchantment. We'll just test this out real quick. Um, so if I throw that in... Wait, no, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> throw that in there. Okay, so it requires eight levels. Then if I... What if I put... It's all grayed out. I don't, if I put that there... That... Um, huh. Okay, so we have protection for there. Oh, so it erases the levels there. The levels go away if I'm not uncrafting it, and then I can... Oh, I can get a fully repaired diamond chest plate protection for... For 13 levels and 8 diamonds, which I believe is far more expensive than it would be if I used the enchantment table upstairs. So, not sure how useful that is. However, to be able to, to fetch out the, um... The, the, to actually uncraft, uh, it's, it seems quite useful. Is there anything in here that I want to uncraft? Um, do I need the resources from anything in particular? Obviously, it has to have a crafting recipe in order for me to do it. Um, by the way, I still don't know how, how the quiver works. I should probably, like, carry that around with me or something. Can I? I wonder if I can, like, drag arrows into it. No, that doesn't work. <laughs> if I right-click, it doesn't do anything. Oh! Oh, it has an inventory that I bet I can throw I can throw boots in and leggings and it just has an inventory that you're probably supposed to throw errors in but apparently I can just oh okay that's cool um nifty so it's like a mini backpack it's supposed to just hold arrows but in reality I guess you can throw anything in there that you want all right so let's see if we can repair the uh the the minnow minotaur axe because I do want it, and Minotaur Axe, can I? Oh, I can! How much is it going to cost to repair? Uh, repair cost zero? Oh, that's just, that's just fantastic. Repair, no? Wait, can you... And can you repair? Please repair? Gosh darn it, is it really not? It doesn't let me repair it! God dang it! I wanted to... Re what if I throw it in... Can I repair it using the anvil, perhaps? Let me check. Let me check. I just don't want to waste my levels when I don't have to. Um, throw it in there. Oh, okay. So apparently it's broken with the... Uh, but I can do that. 12 levels. That's a reasonable price. Take it out. That's fully repaired. And now we can actually enchant it for realsies. Up top. I thought maybe we were going to strike a deal like what we have with the electric staff where we can give it unbreaking three for free but we can't repair it so oh it pro it's probably the same sort of story as here where i can't repair this but i can enchant it um so anyway okay what do we have what do we have what do we have um do i need to repair anything on me at the moment i should repair my cloud boots actually they're looking a little bit worse for wear okay repair them um and, oh, I, sorry, I meant, I think I was hitting enchant with the unbreaking, or the electric staff, but, all right. Or, oh, did I accidentally hit E instead of R? I don't know, whatever. Hold on, let me check, let me check. I might have messed up. <laughs> I always do hit E instead of R for whatever reason. Oh, nice, I should probably not do that. I should probably wear my cloud boots. Um, is there something I can smack? Something around here that I can hit with my axe? Just to to test, <laughs> please. I don't want to hit the cats. Don't want to hit Carrie and her clone. Um, oh well, I may have been hitting enchant instead of repair. I can't. I don't know. Or it may be the same as the electric staff. Either way, uh, do we want to put anything, any enchantments on anything? No. I guess. Uh, I guess we're good. I guess we're good. Cool.
Well, in that case, we do have an uncrafting table now. Uh, we do have the Minotaur Axe, which I don't know how the extra charge damage works. Uh, maybe if it's just I'm running and I hit something, it does extra damage. Who knows? Um, whatever. Okay. <laughs> well, it is what it is. So I think our goals have been completed for this episode. What I might do is off camera just, well, I'm going to arrange my inventory and then I might try to find one of the remaining castles. Castle WE would be great, but uh, I don't know, whatever else we stumble into. So for now, hopefully you've enjoyed. If you have, a rating would be much appreciated. Thank you very much for watching, and uh, I'll see you in the next episode. Oh, and also, no, it looks like I, I wasn't crazy. You can't, you can't repair the Minotaur Axe using the enchantment table, only using the anvil. I'm not sure why, but it is what it is. Anyway, that's it for now. I will, uh, I'll see you guys next time.